Cousins for Life. Yes, Cousins for Tell Life. Tell me all about it. You want to start with that? Yeah, well, it's actually a dope buddy comedy. Uh, well, two cousins moving each other. And um, we have a lot of fun, man. He plays my brother. I'm, I'm Lewis, mm -hmm. the dad of uh, Leaf and, and, and Scarlett, uh, Leaf and Ivy. And he's my brother, crazy brother moves in, who's reckless. Yeah. Him and his son, Stuart. I'm a cool dad. Uh, my son moves in with uh, his daughter and his son, and insanity ensues. Okay. As every episode. Every episode. So I get some great vibes, great chemistry between you Absolutely. two right now. What is it like behind the scenes of the show with you two? Because I feel like it's very interesting. So I just want to say, this dude right here is an animal on the camera. Like, he's amazing. He's real chill right now, but when the camera turns on, the stuff he pulls out, like, it's pretty amazing. Like, what kind of stuff? I want to know all the details. Well, just the character. Like, the stuff he has to bring to the character, like, for him to be so chill and laid back, and when his character uh, comes on, to, like, he steals almost every scene. It's pretty awesome. Well, you know, I don't want to refute what he just said, but everything, he's, <laughs> every, everything he said is absolutely true. No, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of, it's a lot of uh, cool stuff that goes on behind the scenes. His character is, like, very uh, the opposite of me. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, no, kind of the same as me. No, op opposite of me. He's very uh, anal, in a sense. Uh, he's a very clean person. I'm strict. Uh, strict. I'm very strict. Very strict. Very strict. Okay. Well, yeah. you know, not strict to, like, a, uh, a bad degree, but, you know, he's the father. He's the more fatherly figure. You know, he likes everything in a particular order. Like bad cop, good cop. In a sense, but you know the kids on the show kind of push his buttons to. Absolutely. You know. Actually, everybody pushes my buttons. Yes. Including the pig. Yes. So I'm more. I'm more so the kid, the the grown kid on the show. Yeah. Okay. And what's the best part about working with these kids? Because this is a new show. Um, obviously, they're a bit newer to it. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, just watching them uh, grow as actors, personally, uh, especially it's been a, a long a long uh, progression from when we filmed yeah. the pilot and then just watching them, you know, just get the hang of, you know, knowing where the camera is and knowing how to land a joke and just knowing the intricacies of multicam, which is very difficult. This is difficult for me because this is my first multicam show. So just watching them pick up super quickly was probably one of the uh, the greatest things I've, I've witnessed, per se. So Very sweet. Yeah. I like that. Also. And for me, I just I genuinely enjoy just watching them grow up. I feel like I'm kind of sort of like a real dad, watching them, you know, have their moves and then turn it on when the camera comes. Like, it's really cool to watch them grow and progress. Like you said, as actors, and um, yeah. it's fun, man. It's really fun to be around these kids. If you're not parents already, I don't know, does this make you look forward to having kids in the future? It is, because this is the thing I learned, too. Like, when I was taking acting class, it was like, look, you got to find your zone, you get in your silence, and you prepare your character. And then they didn't account for when you start working with kids, kids don't care about your silence, your practice, or whatever you got going on. And... Uh, but it's still fun. It's a different muscle you have to learn to work around kids as well, too. A certain sensitivity you got to have and um, certain awareness you got to have. And you don't really get silence like that in between scenes, so you just got to go with it. Yes. A lot of, uh, a lot of patience. A lot of patience. <laughs> I will say that. Um, so I want to ask you, what were some of your favorite Nickelodeon shows growing up? And some of like the best things that you remember watching on TV from Nickelodeon? I remember watching Ooh. Double Dare. And I'm a little old school. I grew up on uh, Pinwheel, too. I don't know if you remember Pinwheel. No, I don't remember that. It's a real, it's an old school like Nickelodeon show. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed Invader Zim. It was a cartoon on Nickelodeon. Um, I really loved uh, Salute Your Shorts. Um, I really loved, obviously, all that. And you know, as a kid, Hey Arnold was uh, one of my uh, go-to shows that I love to watch so we on have Nickelodeon. Like, and of Nickelodeon super fan. Yeah. And of course, SpongeBob. I, I will say this. There was a time where Nickelodeon merged off and they had these subsidiary channels like Nick Gas, which was like all the sports, the old school sports shows. And I can't remember the name of it, but like Tony Hawk had a show on Nickelodeon. I don't think it was on Nickelodeon. Maybe like Nickelodeon picked up the show and they showed it on Nick Gas. But I loved that show. And I loved Rocket Power, which okay. is really cool. So I feel like we have like Nickelodeon super fan slash encyclopedias at this point. Right, yes. right, right, right. Yes. This is great. Yes. Well, I studied the talking points well, Nickelodeon. <laughs> so. Well, thank you so much for sharing the t talking points and the non-talking points, thank which you. did not make it into this interview. Not. Uh, stay tuned for for that on another uh, website and another time. Check us time. out, Cousins for Life, man. We're excited about it. Yes, yes. Check us out. The brand new hit TV show, Cousins for Life, on it's Nickelodeon. Already it's already. You're gonna hit. love it. <laughs> Emmy Award winning uh, <laughs> television show. <laughs> thank you so much, oh, thank guys. You so much. Thank, thank you. Nice to meet you. you too. Thank you. High five.